Giant TV on Ustream. DCBS Career and Technical Education. And the District Knowledge Network. I'm your host, Sebastian. I'm your host, Maya. I'm your host, Xavier. Did you know Elliot High Network has a new podcast in a state of the art studio? Black us on Apple. iHeart. Spotify. Pandora. Google. And Amazon Music. Joining us as a guest on the show today is Olympian Kaylee Decky. Our show topic is STEM Forward. Ms. Ledecky, thank you for joining us today. Thanks for having me. It's great to be here. Our first segment is Understanding Three Times Olympian, 19 Times World Champion, and 16 Times World Record Breaking Swimmer Katie Ledecky. Katie Ledecky, who or what inspired you to pursue your career in swimming? I don't know. Well, I started swimming when I was six years old, and my Mom was the first one to teach me how to swim. She taught me before six, even. Um, but she swam through college, so she thought it was really important for me to learn how to swim. And then my brother and I really, really loved being in the water and swimming, and so we wanted to join a swim team. So that's why I was inspired to start swimming, and I never looked back. Okay. Um. If you could select one word that describes your work ethic, what would it be and why? Uh, I think I would say persistence. I think uh, you have to be persistent um, and through the ups and the downs, there are going to be good days and bad days and you have to uh, work really hard even on the bad days and um, continue to work towards your, your goals uh, no matter if you're feeling really good or if if you're feeling pretty bad on a day, you have to be persistent and keep keep working. Take us through your mind when you won your first Olympic medal. What were your thoughts and how did you feel? Yeah, I won my first Olympic gold medal when I was 15 years old and it was pretty surreal. Um, it's hard to even remember exactly what I was thinking, but I think my first thought was just, oh my gosh, um, you know, did that just happen? And uh, it was really exciting to finally see my family afterwards and give them a big hug and celebrate a little bit with some family and friends. Okay. We are going to take a quick break and we will be right back. Okay, sounds good. We're gonna this broadcast is being brought to you by Ellie Hahn TV on Ustream. In the District Knowledge Network. I'm your host, Jamari. I'm your host, Aiden. And I'm your host, America. Our show topic today is STEM Forward. Joining us as a guest on the show is Olympian Katie Ledecky. Our first, our first segment was understanding three times Olympian, 90 times world champion, 60 times world breaking swimmer Katie Ledecky. Our second segment is winning with STEAM, a virtual field trip. How does STEM, science, technology, engineering, and math and the arts education help students achieve success within their upcoming career goals? Well, I think every career today involves those skills. So I think it's really important for students like you to mm -hmm. uh, really get excited about those skills and, um, and, and learn as much as you can now because I think it'll pay dividends down the future. You'll be able to use everything you're learning here at Elliott Hines down, um, down the line when you are working, uh, whether that's in media or with Panasonic um, or, or anywhere, um, you're going to be using technology, you're going to be using math, science, engineering, all of it. So are you guys excited about it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Why did you partner with Panasonic on the STEM program? Oh, well, education is really important to me. Um, and so it was a, a great fit, a great part. It's a great partnership to be able to come to schools, visit schools, um, meet students like you who um, are eager to learn and um, are going to be the ones solving problems in the future. So it's, it's a lot of fun. Your STEM 4 program teaches us to use practical problem, problem skills. What are your thoughts on, some on students growing through local problem solving to to global solutions to scale. Yeah, I think um, I think there are lots of things in our world today that we need we need problem solvers to to figure out solutions for. And um, you know maybe there are things within your school or within your local community. But I think um, down the road you all are going to be global problem solvers. Problem solvers, and um, I believe in. Everyone here, all the students here, um, I, 
we had a great assembly today. There was a lot of excitement, and so I think uh, I think you all are going to be the ones solving problems in the future and and using these skills to help our world. We're going to take a quick break, and we'll be right back. Thank you. This broadcast is brought to you by Elliot High TV on Ustream, DCPS Career and Technical Education, and the District Knowledge Network. I'm your host, Mayer. I'm your host, Michaela. I'm your host, Zanaya. Our show topic today is STEM Forward. Joining us as a guest on the show, Olympian Katie Ledecky. Our first segment was understanding three times Olympian, 19 times world champion, and 16 times world record breaker swimming, swimmer Katie Ledecky. Our second segment was Winning with STEM, a virtual field trip. Our third segment is Setting Goals for the Future. Talk to us about the importance of student achievement within the classroom. Yeah, I think it's um, really, important, really important to focus on your studies in the classroom um, and set goals for yourself in the classroom. Um, even when I was swimming um, and going to the Olympics in high school and in college, um, my studies were one of my top priorities and um, I made sure that I was studying as hard as I was, was swimming and getting both done and getting all my work done. So um, I think it's possible to do a lot of different things, but um, it's always important to keep your studies at the forefront. Your STEM Forward program utilizes Panasonic design thinking and the engineering design process through challenge, design, and solve. In your opinion, why is this important to students? I think it's important because those, uh, those different skills are important in any aspect of life, whether that's in the classroom, whether that's in a sport and you have to problem solve, whether that's um, in a career. And you guys are many years away from having a career, but um, when you have these skills, when you learn these skills from a young age, you're going to carry them through to high school and to college. By the time you graduate college, you're going to have great opportunities ahead of you to utilize those skills um, in our world. And by utilizing those skills, you're going to make a difference. If a student does not reach his or her goal on the first try, give your insight on why giving up is not an option. Yeah, you can't give up. Um, things don't always go right the first time. Um, we saw that today in some of our science experiments. It doesn't always go the way you expect it to go. Uh, and so whenever that happens, you have to just keep trying and, and keep working hard. And eventually, you're going to see progress. And you're going to see yourself working closer and closer to that goal. Um, so you, know, you can't be afraid to set your goal really high. And you just have to recognize that it might take some time. It might take some patience to get closer and closer. but uh, ultimately, if you if you don't give up, you can you can get there. Do you have any final thoughts for the students at Elliott High Middle School? Oh, I just want to say thank you. I'm so impressed by all of you, your hard work, and um, this radio show, and all the students for being so engaged today in our assembly on STEM. And I hope that you all are excited for the rest of the school year to continue to work hard and. Um, I met some of the swimmers as well. I hope that they have a great swim season. And um, I would just say continue to be curious, be excited about school, listen to your teachers. Um, you have some phenomenal teachers here. Um, so listen well to them and, and work your hardest for them because it'll pay off. And um, I, I really do believe that you guys can be some difference makers in, in the future and now. Ms. Ledecky, thank you for being a guest on our show. This broadcast is being brought to you by Elliot Hine TV on Ustream. And the District Knowledge Network. I'm your host, Maya. I'm your host, Michaela. I'm your host, Zanaya. Have, Have a, a great, great day. day. Yeah. <laughs>